two people can be carnivore and have totally different outcomes. One person's joint pain calms down, skin clears, energy comes back and they're like, is this what living is supposed to feel like? The other person says, doc, my rash flared, my heart is racing, I'm itchy, I'm anxious, and I feel worse. Same label, different biology. Today we're talking about the real reason carnivore fixes some autoimmune issues and not others. And spoiler alert, it's not magic, it's not willpower, it's not that one person did it right and the other one didn't. It's that autoimmunity has different drivers and carnivore only pulls certain levers. But before we begin, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Dr. Tony. Tony Hampton. I'm a family and obesity medicine doc, and I'm obsessed with root cause. But keep in mind, this is education, not personal medical advice. Use it to ask better questions and run better experiments with your healthcare team. Here's the one sentence truth. Carnivore helps when it removes the main immune triggers and lowers inflammatory noise enough for the body to regain tolerance. But it won't fix autoimmunity if the root driver isn't food. Or if your carnivore still includes the thing your immune system is mad about. Let's break this down in a way that actually helps you. Autoimmune disease is basically your immune system acting like a smoke alarm that goes off when you make toast. The alarm isn't broken. It's hypersensitive. The question is, what's setting it off? Carnivore can help because it tends to do three powerful things at once. First lever, it reduces immune triggers coming in. Think of your diet like an email inbox. Most people are eating thousands of messages a week. Grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, spices, gums, additives, seed oils, sugar, alcohols, sauces, and those quote unquote healthy foods. If your immune system is already on edge, every new food is another email it has to process. Carnivore is like putting your inbox on do not disturb. Fewer inputs, fewer exposures. Less chance you're eating the one thing your body is reacting to. Some people are sensitive to certain plant proteins, certain fibers that ferment intensely, or compounds that irritate their gut. If you remove those, symptoms drop. Not because meat is magical, but because the trigger is gone. Second lever, it gives your gut barrier a break. Your gut lining is not just a tube. It's a border wall with customs agents. Its job is to let nutrients in and keep chaos out. When the gut lining gets inflamed because of infections, stress hormones, certain foods, medication, or long-term ultra-processed diets, bigger particles can slip through. That increases immune activation. The immune system sees things it wasn't supposed to see and says, intruder, even when it's just fragments of food or bacteria byproducts. Many people notice on carnivore, less bloating, less gas, less diarrhea, less urgency. Why? Often because of less fermentation, fewer irritants, and a simpler ingredient list. That can calm gut inflammation, improve barrier function, and reduce the constant immune siren. Third lever, it changes inflammatory chemistry. A lot of carnivore eaters naturally go lower carb, and that changes insulin dynamics. High, Frequent insulin spikes can push inflammatory signaling and worsen immune dysregulation in some people, especially if they're insulin resistant. Also, going carnivore often means people accidentally quit the biggest inflammatory offenders, sugar sweetened beverages, refined grains, industrial seed oils, and ultra processed snacks. They didn't join an anti-inflammatory club. They just stopped eating products engineered in a lab to be addictive. So why doesn't carnivore help everyone with autoimmune issues? Because autoimmune is a category, not one disease. It's like saying sports. Basketball and boxing are both sports, but you don't train the same way. Way. Some autoimmune symptoms are very trigger responsive, meaning exposures flare symptoms quickly. Skin issues, gut symptoms, certain joint flares, migraines, fatigue, those often change dramatically when triggers are removed. But some autoimmune diseases involve deeper tissue damage and more complex immune pathways. If there's long-standing injury, scarring, or organ involvement, diet may still have symptoms and inflammation, but it may not reverse everything. A fire can go out, but you may still need to repair the house. Now let's talk about the big reason carnivore fails, or even backfires for some people. Because carnivore isn't one diet, it's a whole neighborhood. And in that neighborhood, there are hidden landmines. Landmine number one, histamine and mast cell issues. This is huge, and it's the reason some people get itchy, flushed, 
anxious, get headaches, or feel wired and tired on carnivore. Histamine builds up in aged meats, cured meats, slow cooked meats, canned fish, leftovers, bone broth, and fermented foods. And ironically, those are some of the most common carnivore staples. So someone says, I went carnivore and got worse. But what they actually did was go leftover ribeye plus bone broth plus bacon plus slow cooker roast every day. If you're histamine sensitive, that's not a healing protocol. That's a histamine festival with VIP passes. For those people, the move is not quit carnivore. The move is fresh cooked meat, Freeze leftovers immediately. Avoid aged and cured meats for a season. Go gentle on bone broth and test your tolerance strategically. Landmine number two, dairy. Dairy can be amazing for some and disastrous for others. Casein and whey can be immune triggers in a subset of people, especially with eczema, sinus symptoms, acne, or gut flares. And here's what happens. Someone goes carnivore, but their calories are basically cheese, heavy cream, and yogurt with a side of meat. If your immune system hates dairy, carnivore won't save you from dairy. Carnivore will just make dairy louder. Landmine number three, eggs. Egg sensitivity is more common than people think, and eggs are easy, cheap, and beloved. But if eggs trigger you, eating them daily while calling it carnivore is like spraying perfume on a skunk and hoping it counts as a shower. Landmine number four, not actually doing elimination. Seasonings, sauces, sweeteners, keto treats, sugar alcohols, gums, thickeners. People forget these matter. If you're trying to calm an immune system, your goal is fewer variables not more loopholes. Landmine number five, the real root cause isn't food. Sometimes the driver is an infection, mold exposure, sleep deprivation, chronic stress, trauma load, or medication effects. If your immune system is stuck in fight or flight, you can eat the cleanest diet on earth and still feel inflamed. Food is powerful, it's not the only lever. Landmine number six, low electrolytes and under eating. Early carnivore can cause increased fluid and sodium loss. If you're not replacing sodium, magnesium, and potassium appropriately, you can feel weak, anxious, dizzy, have palpitations, and sleep poorly. Also, some people accidentally undereat because carnivore is so satiating. Your body may respond with stress hormones, and stress hormones can look like autoimmune flare. Landmine number seven. You improved inflammation and unmasked something else. This one's sneaky. Sometimes when inflammation drops, you start noticing symptoms you ignored before, like histamine issues, gallbladder issues, or thyroid issues. The diet didn't cause them, it revealed them. So what do I do about all of this? You stop treating carnivore like a religion and start treating it like a diagnostic tool. Here's the framework I like, the carnivore clean room. If you're doing carnivore to calm autoimmune symptoms, build a short short-term clean environment. For 14 to 30 days, keep it boring. Ruminant meat, salt, water. If you suspect histamine, make it fresh cooked, freeze leftovers, avoid cured meats, and bone broth temporarily. Then, if you're improving, you add back one variable at a time. Eggs, or dairy, or pork, or spices, one at a time, several days per test. This turns your body into a feedback machine. You stop guessing, you start learning. And if you're not improving, that's not failure, that's data. That's when you zoom out to root cause. How sleep? How stress? Are you overtraining? Are you inflamed from work, trauma, loneliness, or environmental exposures? Do you have chronic gut issues that might need evaluation? Are you deficient in vitamin D or iron? Is your thyroid under strain? Autoimmunity is often a stack. Diet is one layer. You may have to address multiple layers. And here's the part I want you to hear clearly. If carnivore helped you, don't just celebrate, investigate. Find what it removed that your body couldn't handle. And if carnivore didn't help you, don't quit on yourself. Your body is not rejecting health. It's giving you clues about what the real driver might be. Because the goal isn't to win a diet competition. The goal is to calm the immune system, restore metabolic health, and build a life where your symptoms stop running the show. Now I want to hear from you because your comments help other people stop feeling alone. In the comments, tell us, what autoimmune issues are you dealing with? And what version of carnivore did you try? Did you include dairy, eggs, 
leftovers, bone broth. And if you made it to this point in the video and found it helpful, like and subscribe. And check the description and playlist for more videos on metabolic health, inflammation, and how to get to the root cause instead of just chasing symptoms. Thank you for coming to this video and I'll see you in the next one.